I'm John Brown. Uh, I wrote a book called The Seven Elements uh, because I was intrigued to see if I could write a book about things that interested me, uh, and they were chemical elements, in a way which uh, made sense through my eyes and the stories of my life. I've been involved with each of them on and off uh, through my business career. And I'm going to read uh, the first and last paragraph of the prologue to the book. The number seven has always held a central place in myth, music and literature. The world was created in seven days, there are seven notes in the diatonic scale, and according to Shakespeare, there are seven ages of man. In conceiving this book, I was also drawn to the number seven, so I asked myself, which of the seven elements help us best to understand our world and how it came to be? I also thought about which have had the greatest influence on my life and which I have experienced most directly. I reached the bottom of the periodic table, six elements in tow. Here I came to uranium, whose nucleus having accumulated so many protons and neutrons on the journey down the periodic table is very unstable. That characteristic defined the post-war era. On a day in 1945, in a city in Japan, and for that reason, it is the seventh element. Time and time again, while writing this book, I've revisited the periodic table, questioning this choice of seven elements and questioning the choice of the number seven. Iron, carbon, gold, silver, uranium, titanium, silicon. Each time these seven elements have stood out as having most powerfully changed the course of human history. These seven elements have shaped the vast complexities of our social, economic and cultural existence. These seven elements hold a grip on our emotions and our history like no others. I cannot think of an eighth. So it starts with carbon, uh, which is uh, where I started uh, my industrial career in the hydrocarbon industry. But obviously it suffuses everything from life and various materials and energy. Uh, iron, uh, obviously, makes us uh, live the way we live today in, in tall buildings. Without it, we couldn't do that. Uh, then we go to gold and silver, uh, to titanium, uranium, and the other bookend is silicon, which is another way of looking at life today, uh, about semiconductors and glass and mirrors, uh, to name but just a few things. All these elements that I talk about uh, are powerful because they change things and therefore they have value, and uh, human beings go and fight for value. I had no idea which uh, section of a bookshop this uh, book would go in. I thought it would be perhaps uh, uh, current affairs, maybe business, uh, and I only vaguely thought it might go into the science section. In fact, I put quite a lot of the more complicated uh, science into footnotes uh, to declog the book for uh, a reader who wasn't a scientist, but who might find adventure in science rather more interesting. How science, how the elements combined with current affairs, with geopolitics, with industry, with utility, with beauty, all these things come together. And that's what I think is what I love about science, actually. What I love about science and engineering is that it combines so many things. It's not what happens in a lab. The only way I can really write, I think, is through my own eyes and through my own experience. And I've been fortunate in a, a pretty long industrial career to have had some extraordinary experiences, both in the mining industry, but mostly in the petroleum industry, but even more importantly, with extraordinary people in extraordinary places. Uh, and I wanted to bring a little bit of that into the book, uh, to breathe life into uh, things which otherwise would be rather inanimate. I was extremely surprised to be nominated. I really was, and I'm very honored uh, to be on the shortlist. To me, it's very important because hopefully it will open the book up to a different set of readers, people who are interested in, in perhaps the science 
and how you can explain the science in a different way. And that would be wonderful if, we could, if I could get a few more people interested in going into science and going into engineering, I would regard it as a singular accomplishment.